Well, good evening. Monkey Astronomer here. Or should I say... Good evening. Although it's actually morning. And uh, I'm here to try to observe Comet C2023A3 Tsuchin Shan Atlas. Which I'll refer to from here on as the Comet. Now, uh, as you can see from my uh, planetarium program there, there on my... Uh, planetarium software is the comet this is showing that it has just cleared the horizon the sun is down there it's soon going to rise you can see from the clock on over there uh, the actual local time here it's uh, 10 past 4 what time did it rise 403 so it's just risen minutes ago the uh, sky will start to brighten as the sun gets close to uh, rising uh, basically basically now 4 11 um, is the beginning of astronomical dawn so i don't know if i'm going to be able to see this uh, it's very low on the horizon oh there's a there's a ufo going through my field of view <laughs> there ufo um, I think what I might do first is I'll slew it to uh, a star in the general area. I might slew it to that one, Alphard. That one there, and uh, I'll synchronize on that, and then we'll see if we can find the comet from there. It's probably still too low right now, but uh, I'm hoping within the next 30 minutes might be able to see it oh that's where the telescope's pointing now those little red uh, marks and this is where we're sending it to okay so i'm going to hit the go to now i'll show you the telescope there hit the go to should start, start the slew you can also see the telescope uh, there Oh, I'm seeing stars going by in the telescope view. This camera in the dome is located on the east side, looking west, so the telescope's going to point towards us in this case. Let's go back to the sky safari view. Yeah, the telescope has already... It's reached its... Uh, destination just waiting for the dome to catch up okay so I'm using the crosshairs to send that star now I've been seeing lots of uh, pictures of the comet uh, taken early in the morning I've seen them on social media and in the mainstream media but this is the first morning in the last hmm, 10 days perhaps that I've uh, had clear sky so this is the, my first opportunity to attempt to see the comet bring up my list there's the comet center on the comet send the telescope to it although I think it's probably still too low to actually Okay, telescope's moved, now the dome's catching up. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Holy cow. That is my first view of the comet. I'm amazed. It's only... It's only 2.5 degrees above the horizon. I really thought... Well, I thought it'd be behind the tree line, actually. I do have a good horizon uh, in the east but it's, it's a very limited uh, width, you know. There's another UFO on the right there. Oh, and another one down the bottom right. Holy cow, lots of UFOs. Do a stretch. Ooh, that's better. 
Wow. Look at that tail. I'll move the comet's head over to the left so we can see a bit more of the tail. Yeah, there's a UFO. Just went straight through the through the comet. Wow, getting a lot of UFOs. There's another one. Another one. See? Another one. I guess we are close to the uh, celestial equator and ecliptic. Let me turn on the equator so we can see that. There's the uh, celestial equator I just turned on there, that white line on the right. Yeah, we're pretty close to that, so there's probably a lot of satellites orbiting in that area. That's definitely the best view of a comet I've ever seen in my camera. Another UFO. I think there's too many <laughs> to keep playing this sound effect. What I'm going to do now is go outside and see if I can see this by eye. I'm back. What happened? <laughs> I think because the sky's brightened. That's why it looks bright. Okay, there you go. The core is very bright. I think that's why I was able to see it by eye quite easily. Look at my uh, all sky camera. It's showing an animation of the last hour and it's basically getting blue, right? The sky's turning blue. So that suggests sun's coming up. It's now 4.45. We're into nautical twilight now. So sun's less than 12 degrees below the horizon. All right, I don't think I'm gonna see much more of it. It's uh, almost five o'clock. 5 a.m. and uh, the sun is making the sky a little bright. It's turning blue now, as you can see. If we look at our sky safari view, we can see that it's at about 11 degrees now. Look, there's a UFO going through. Oh, that was a bird. Oh, another bird. <laughs> I don't have a sound effect for birds. I think actually this dark bit here is a tree. Um, yeah, I noticed that tree when I uh, went out. And if we look at the view looking out of the dome, um, you know, that's my telescope there or the, or the uh, dew shield on the front of it. Um, it's the sides of the dome and the comet is somewhere here, I think. Don't think we'll see it in that view, but yeah, it's somewhere there. And I think the tree is just starting to encroach on the view. That's why we're getting this dark bit over here. Comet is there. Well, there you have it. Comet C 2023 A3 Shan Atlas. Now, uh, in the next couple of weeks, it will pass the sun and um, it'll become visible in the evening sky. So 
at that time I might try to do a uh, a live stream if we if we get some clear sky. <laughs>